Yeah, our biggest uh, investment is in new build. Um, we just announced uh, four million homes uh, constructed uh, in, the, in the last four years. And that is a very attractive and, and a very successful um, investment for us. Uh, in addition, of course, we are scaling our network. Um, so we, uh, we invest in capacity additions, in um, additional features and functions that help us to deliver um, value and content-rich services to our consumers. And last but not least, in quality improvements. Uh, we, we strongly believe in scale, so um, we, we're going to continue um, to make technology decisions uh, centrally as long as they impact more than one country. So everything we are doing uh, in terms of technology, strategy, architecture, um, all uh, um, guidelines, um, again, that, that impact a larger footprint uh, will, be, will be done centrally. I, I think there is no, no end of life uh, for, for the cable networks. Uh, with, the, with the tool set we have today, um, meaning um, distributed access architecture, DOCSIS Rebon, um, extended spectrum, um, we, we are able to, uh, to grow the um, capacity uh, to, uh, to be able to offer 10 gigabit per second services, um, which will probably be over the next uh, 10 years or so. Um, in the meantime, I expect te technologies to evolve further um, and, and uh, extend the life of these networks even beyond that. Yeah, fixed mobile convergence is an uh, essential part of our product portfolio since uh, several years. And uh, the offerings range from uh, simple bundling uh, between fixed and mobile products uh, and a much more um, yeah, technically advanced um, convergence. So dependent on whether we own the radio access network or uh, whether we run a light or full MBNO, we have uh, different uh, opportunities. Overall, I believe um, fixed mobile convergence is, um, is, is, is going to become more important uh, going forward. And, uh, we, uh, we put quite some effort into it, most prominent actually our television platform Horizon 4, which, uh, which allows uh, customers to uh, watch and stream content on the main, stream, uh, on the main screen at home, um, on uh, their mobile devices inside and outside the home, um, even being able to uh, uh, basically stop viewing and continue viewing on a mobile device. And assuming that the handover between uh, Wi-Fi and the mobile network uh, works uh, fluently, it's actually a, a, a great example of a, of a full um, convergence product. Yeah, I mean, we, we, uh, for us, 5G has uh, different facets. Um, again, if we uh, own the radio access network, uh, we will potentially look into acquiring Spectrum and um, uh, supporting um, additional services uh, like uh, other operators do. Um, in, in, in respect to the cable network, uh, we see it as an opportunity uh, because these, um, these 5G networks will uh, require a densification of cells, uh, will require um, additional uh, backhauling uh, capacity, and uh, we believe that the cable network is, is actually very well um, prepared uh, to do that. So um, there is a lot of development ongoing to uh, deliver the capacity and the latency uh, that, is, that is necessary, but, but uh, coaxial networks would also be able to deliver the energy uh, to, these, to these cells and may even outcompete fiber in these, uh, in these cases. Um, we see it less as a threat because uh, the, um, the economics of the cable network are actually um, so much better for, for fixed wireless access applications. Um, but, uh, but we may use fixed wireless access uh, to extend our new build uh, activities and to reach homes outside of our uh, current footprint.